The Lost Umbrella Poem. In praise of something, love perhaps, we descended the staircase nude, and I understood that she knew me, not in the way an old woman knows the backyard where she grew up, but in the way a guitarist knows how to form a chord at any position on the fretboard. But no one ever says, look how sweaty I am when I'm around you. It had rained through the night around our hotel. I nearly stepped in a puddle, but she pulled me back. She stopped and told me to look. There were fish, lemon peel angelfish swimming about. Then I pulled her back just in time as a lawnmower dashed through our pond, tore through it without even looking back. It was then I remembered I once dreamt of umbrellas, hundreds of them, lined along a hillside, and as my love tossed in bed, the umbrellas all rose, lifting the hills with them, grass, trees, and all, even the couple kissing in the shade, oblivious of the ground that was no longer grounded, and I laughed like a monk, breaking his vow of silence. She and I had no hopes of growing happy together. We were too mature for that. We walked to a diner and discussed patio designs. There is a paved path through a plot of grass, cut weakly by yours truly, and this path introduces a gate, and this gate encloses a pool, and inside this pool there are two children, our own. There, on the table, there are glasses of lemonade, and above this table, a yellow umbrella that chimes in the sun like a chapel. We could hear the knell, the note from the bell, so cold we shivered, even as we sweated like melting ice cubes in an empty glass, the lemonade gone. Let's go, I said, instead of saying how sweaty I was.